Hi, it's Mark from Training Spark here with another quick Learn Dash tip. And in this video, we're going to show you how to put your Learn Dash platform into a maintenance mode. And by that, I mean, as an admin, you might want to make changes to your Learn Dash site. You might change courses or settings, or even wider changes like the theme or other pages. And if you have a busy platform with lots of users on there, what you don't want is learners having their access to your course disrupted or seeing things that changing while they refresh the page. It's just um, best practice to put the site into maintenance mode while you're making big changes, just so that you don't affect their user experience of your profile, your, your site. And we're going to do this using a plugin. So if we'll head to the dashboard as an admin here and go to plugins, add new, and we're going to search for a plugin called WP Maintenance Mode. This is the one uh, on the, the right here. Um, so it's WP Maintenance Mode and coming soon. It's got 90, 900,000 active installations and a four and a half star rating. And it's up to date in terms of people uh, managing it and, and maintaining the plugin. So I'm just going to click install now and then activate it. So once that's activated, nothing will change at the moment. We actually physically have to change the settings of the maintenance mode to, to change that. So once it's installed under settings, you will have this WP maintenance mode option here now that you've activated it. And the top item here is this activated or deactivated option. Obviously by default, that's set to deactivated. So as things stand, any learners would still be able to access the platform and continue, continue their courses as normal. Before activating it, it's worthwhile just tweaking a few of these settings. So we can specify any roles that should have access while the maintenance mode is live to both the back end and the front end. So I think by default, ad administrators, yeah, it says here, administrators will always have access. But if you wanted, for example, group leaders to always have access while you're making the changes, then you could add these here as well. And anyone else who's not an admin or a group leader would see the maintenance page. So this just sets who you allow to be able to bypass it. You've got some options here for search engines. You can probably leave these as they are, but if you did want to block search engines while you're making changes, then you can do that. You can also exclude certain bits or have redirects to different pages if someone hits your maintenance mode. So we'll leave those as they are. And then just click save settings. So we've still got it deactivated. What I'm going to do is head to the design tab here and we can set what the page says when someone hits it and choose things like background colors and add bits of CSS if you want to really style that page up. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to keep it fairly simple and say um, we're working on the site. And I'll say, please come back soon. And just a, a message for the, anyone who comes to the site. So um, just something like, please bear with us. We are just making some changes to the platform and the site will be back online soon. Something nice and simple like that. So you, you can add some other bits like a, like I say just some of the colors but I'll just keep it nice and simple for now and click save there are a few other things you can do like add countdowns and subscribe buttons things like that but for the purpose of this video I really just want a simple maintenance page that I put up while I'm making some changes and um, in the example of what I'm trying to do here you would generally only have the page up for a couple of hours so we probably don't need 
lots of things like this. If you were generating a site where it was going to come in three weeks or something and you wanted to generate some interest, then you, you maybe you want to count down then. But for a simple maintenance page, some of these seem a bit overkill. And there's also some GDPR options here uh, for things like privacy policies uh, if you did need to use those. So we save the settings and what you'll find is that, well, for starters, we're, we're still deactivated. So I'm going to activate this now, which means that the maintenance mode is on. So any learners who access the site would see that maintenance page. But first, what I'll do is I'll show you that as an admin, we can go to all our courses, access them and complete them as normal. We can edit course settings, do anything we like, and our experience of the site will not be altered. However, <clears throat> if I switch to a learner profile and refresh the page, what they will have, actually I'm logged in as a, um, a group leader actually there, uh, but they will see this instead. So um, it will say, please come back soon. And um, it's got the message there that I put on uh, when they first accessed. So it's just a nice professional message rather than them coming in and seeing pages changes and, and all, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's just a, a nice simple message in, yeah, reminding them to come back soon. All the while you can still access the site as normal. So we hope you find this useful. And if you did, please give this video a like. And if you'd like more videos like this, please subscribe to the Training Spark YouTube channel.